Praise God, everybody. Today is a very good day. We want to talk about the kingdom of God today. Have you heard about God's kingdom? Jesus loves you so much, brother. Jesus cares for you. Remember that the kingdom of God is coming. God's kingdom is coming. Jesus Christ is coming back again. Coming back with kingdom. Have you heard about the kingdom of God, sir? Um, the kingdom of God is coming. Jesus love you, okay? Jesus care for every one of us. So the kingdom of God is coming by fire, by fire. Our God is a good God. So Jesus Christ has told us the people that will inherit the kingdom. First of all, it must be the people that believe and do His will. Not only believing, because the Bible says to us that devil also believes, but he trembles. But the Bible says that devil believes and he trembles. Today is a very good day. It's a day that you're going to repent from your sins and receive Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Our God is a good God. Our God is a faithful and a just God. There is no one like unto God. God is faithful. God is just. And there is none like unto God. Jesus Christ loves us with an everlasting love. There is no one like unto God. We are talking about the kingdom of God today. And the Bible says that the kingdom of God is coming. And Jesus Christ is coming with a kingdom. Our God is faithful and just. The word of God says that the kingdom of God is coming when you do not expect. When you least expect the kingdom, then the kingdom of God comes. The word of God says that the kingdom of God comes when you least expect the kingdom. Jesus Christ loves us so much. And that is why he came to die for us to prepare us for the kingdom. God's kingdom is coming and is coming as soon as possible. The Bible says that a day is like a thousand years before the presence of God. And a thousand years is like a day before the presence of God. Today, we are thinking about the kingdom. And what of God has told us, Jesus Christ sat down and make us to understand what the kingdom is like. Are you okay? Now the moon that will inherit God's kingdom. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 5 from verse 1, Then when he saw the crowd, he went up to the mountains and sat down. His disciples came to him, and he began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. If you are poor in spirit, the Bible says, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Our God is a very, very good God. The Bible says that when you are humble in the spirit, you are going to inherit the kingdom of God. It says, blessed are the poor in spirit. I want everybody to know that Jesus Christ died for you on the cross of Calvary to set you free. Jesus Christ is the freedom that you have today. Our God is a faithful and a just God. There is no one like unto God. God is faithful and God is great. There is none like unto God. Today is a special day. The Bible says that when you are humble, then you will inherit God is the good. kingdom God is of good. God. The kingdom of God is not for the pride people. The kingdom of God is for the humble people. The kingdom of God is for the people that believe. The kingdom of God is for the people that believe and live a good life, a holy life, a righteous life. For us to understand what the kingdom of God is all about, the Bible says that the kingdom of God is full of righteousness. The kingdom of God is full of peace. The kingdom of God is full of joy in the Holy Ghost. 
So when you have the kingdom, when you have peace, when you have joy, when you have righteousness, you have the kingdom. Sister, do you have the kingdom? Jesus loves you. So when you have the kingdom of God, you have righteousness, you have peace. Peace of God, righteousness of God, Jesus Christ is Lord forever and ever and ever. Our God is a great God. Jesus Christ is Lord. Our God is faithful and just. The kingdom of God is for the children. The children need to know about the kingdom of God. The Bible says train your children the way they should go. And when they when they will grow up, they will not depart from it. So Jesus loves you, God bless you. Train your child the way he should go. And then when they grow up, they will not depart from it. You must train your children, you must tell them about God. Because God is the best thing, God is the righteous thing, God is the best thing that you're going to do. The best thing for you to do is to train your children to know who God is. The fools have said in their heart, there is no God. Don't be among those fools that says in their heart, there is no God. There is God. And Jesus Christ is coming back soon. So the fools have determined to say, there is no God. There is God. And God is coming. Jesus Christ is coming back very soon. If anybody do not believe in Jesus Christ, do not believe in God, he is a big fool. Because the fools have said in their hearts, there is no God. There is God. There is the goodness of God. God is a loving God. And the word of God says to us, Blessed are those that are humble in spirit. They humble in spirit. They will receive God's kingdom. So when you are humble in the spirit, the kingdom of God is for you. You have a fear in the kingdom of God. But when you are pride, when you are pride, the word of God says, there's no kingdom of God in you. And then the Bible continues to say, blessed are those who mourn. For they shall be comforted. Jesus Christ has come to comfort those that mourn. The word of God says that Jesus Christ comes to comfort those that mourn. So the word of God says, Blessed are those that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Our God is telling you today, when you have a broken heart, God is looking at our broken heart, at your repentance. When you repent from your sins and have a broken heart, and change from your evil doing. The Bible says the kingdom of God is right there in your heart. Have you got a broken heart? Jesus Christ loves you so much, sister. You are, you are meant to be beautiful, so you can, you, you're going to go to the kingdom. Amen. God bless you, sister. The kingdom of God is for beautiful people. The kingdom of God is for good people. God bless you. Amen. It's a beautiful place. It's a beautiful thing to do. It's a, a good place for every one of us to go. So the Bible says that Jesus Christ is Lord and is the King of glory. And what of God says again in Matthew chapter 5 from verse 6. He said, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. Just as we know that the kingdom of God is all about righteousness. God's kingdom is all about righteousness. So the Bible says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness. Are you hungry about after righteousness? God bless you. Jesus Christ love you, brother. Jesus Christ cares. When you hunger and thirst after righteousness, the Bible says that yours is the kingdom of God. Our God is a great God. Our God is a faithful God. You hunger, are you hungry about righteousness? Jesus Christ says, when you hunger, when that hunger is in you, the hunger of righteousness, then theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Our God is a good God. So when you hunger, when you thirst for righteousness, the kingdom of heaven is for you. But the Bible says that the kingdom of heaven is made up of righteousness. Listen, gentlemen, Jesus Christ loves you. And Jesus Christ loves little ones. Mom, do you like you to them? Okay, Jesus loves you, mom. Jesus cares for you. Our God loves you so much. The kingdom of God is meant for the, those that are hunger after righteousness. If you are hunger after righteousness, the kingdom of God is for you. Jesus Christ is a good God. If you, are, if you have peace of God, the kingdom of God is for you. Jesus Christ loves you so much. And Jesus Christ wants to be the foundation of your family. The foundation of your children must be Jesus Christ. 
God first in everything. The Bible says that God first in everything. God first, God first in everything. You are a fool. 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 A fool has said that thou is no God. So you are a, one of the big fools that do not want your child to hear the word of God. You're going to die and go to hell. And then you're going to perish with all your foolishness. Jesus Christ love you. Repent from your sins. Our God is a good God. Our God is faithful and just. Who will not want his children to know what is good? God is a good God. That is it. The best thing that you ever know is God. Children, the best thing that you will ever know is God. God is a very good God. God is a very faithful and a just God. The kingdom of God is for good people. I want to tell you the reason why God makes it to be good is because He has made the kingdom of God for you. Okay? Every one of you has look at their faces, you are so good. And God has made the kingdom for you. And the kingdom of God is for you, for every one of you. And the Bible says, when you test, after righteousness, when you hunger for righteousness, the kingdom of God is given to you. God bless you. Yes, Jesus loves you, okay? When you test after righteousness, the kingdom of God is for you. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He's the Savior. He's the King of Kings. And the Bible says, again, you will be filled when you test after righteousness. He said, blessed are the merciful, they, for they will show mercy. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. If you are merciful, God will show you mercy. Are you merciful today? God will show you mercy. The Bible says, blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Do you show mercy to your brothers, to your sisters, to your friends, to your neighbor? Who is your neighbor? If you show mercy to your neighbor, God will show mercy to you. The Bible says, when you show mercy, you will receive mercy, the mercy of God. God is the merciful God. When the word of God says that you will receive mercy, that means that when you show mercy, you will receive Jesus Christ in your life. Our God is a good God. Our God is a faithful and a just God. There is no one like unto God. Today is the day of salvation. Are you merciful? Do you show mercy to your neighbors? Do you show mercy to your brethren? The Bible says you will receive mercy as well. But if you do not show mercy, you will not receive mercy. The Bible says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the pure in heart. When you have a pure heart, the Bible says, that's not two ways you will see God. But I want us to understand that God the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, is looking into our heart. And the Bible says, when you are pure in your heart, God knows it. Oh, God bless you, brother. Amen. God bless you. God knows it, those that are pure in heart. Thank you very much. God knows our heart. The Bible says that men look at an apple and parents, but God is looking right inside your heart. Sisters, what is going on in your heart? God knows. God knows, God really knows, I tell you now. God really knows what is going on in the heart of every one of us here. God is a good God. God is a faithful God. Whatever that is going on in your heart, God knows. And the Bible says, when you are merciful, God knows. God knows your heart. Our God is a very good God. Jesus Christ is love. Blessed are the merciful. When you are merciful, the Bible says you will be shown mercy. When you are pure in heart, the word of God says that yes, is the kingdom of God. When you are pure, when you are righteous, when you are holy, the Bible says yes, is the kingdom of God. Blessed and blessed and blessed are those that are pure in heart, for theirs is the kingdom of God. And the Bible says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the sons of God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the sons of God. The peacemakers will be called the sons of God. Jesus Christ is a peacemaker. And that's what the Bible says, that blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the sons of God. 
So if you are a peacemaker, you will be called the sons and daughters of God. Do you love peace? Do you have peace in your heart? Do you have peace in your family? The Bible says that the Bible Abraham went. He went south. He went south from Egypt. He went south. No, Africa is the Holy Land. Your own land is the Holy Land, and you are in the Europeans. You are letting these Europeans, your colonizers, yeah. to tell you who your God is. When the three wise men have come to this place, they will teach you who you are. Jesus, you know what I'm saying? Jesus is the real. 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 Jesus let me finish and I will come away. Yes, Explain everything to you because I'm God loves you. Jesus yes. Christ died for you. Do you know about Jesus? Do you know about Jesus Christ? No, do you know about Jesus Christ? Do you love Jesus Christ? Do you know about Jesus? Do you love Jesus? You know, if you love Jesus Christ, yeah, you will love peace because Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. Do you love Jesus? Do you love Jesus? Answer me one question. Are you for Jesus? Are you against Jesus? Are you for Jesus? Are you against Jesus? Okay. Our God is a very faithful and a just God. The Bible says that the love of God, the love of God is what can take us to the kingdom of God. God loves us so much. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. Hello, my friend. Jesus loves you. God bless you. God bless you. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The Bible says, for God loves you so much. He loves you. Our God is a good God. Our God is a faithful God. Jesus loves us with an everlasting love. Brother Jesus loves you so much. God bless you. It is very, very important for us to know that Jesus Christ loves us and cares for us. Our God lives and reigns, and He is great, and He is wonderful. He is glorious, He is gracious. Do you know about Jesus, the Son of God? Jesus Christ loves us. The Word of God says, peacemaker, peacemaker, yeah? They will see the kingdom of God, because the kingdom of God is full of peace. If you don't have peace, you're not going to go to the kingdom. If you're not a peacemaker, you're going to cause war in heaven, like devil. You know, devil is never a peacemaker. Devil caused war in heaven and was kicked out of heaven. So when you are a peacemaker, you go to the kingdom of God. Are you a peacemaker, gentlemen? Yes, there's one peacemaker here. Jesus loves you. God bless you. There's one peacemaker here. The Bible says that blessed are those that make peace, for theirs is the kingdom of God. So do you think peace? What do you think in your heart? What do you think in your heart, sister? Do you think peace in your heart? Jesus Christ loves you. If you think peace in your heart, you think of the kingdom of God. Do you love peace, everybody here? Do you want, oh, God bless you. God, they are a wonderful family. You must have a peaceful family. God bless you. Our God is a good God. Blessed are the peacemakers. For that is the kingdom of God. So when you are making peace, you will have God's kingdom just in your own life. You know, the, the righteousness of God, the peace of God, the joy. Do you have joy? Do you have joy? Do you love joy in you, in your family? Do you want people to have joy? Do you want to do the things that will bring joy to the life of the people? Amen. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. God bless you, mom. God is a good God. Jesus Christ is good. Do you love joy? Do you love peace? Jesus Christ loves you. Our God is a faithful God. That is no one left unto God. So if you love peace, if you love joy, if you love righteousness, you are already in. You know, in this life, many people are in and many people are out. The fools are still saying there is no God. They count themselves out. And they know that just as in the days of Noah, just as in the days of Noah, so shall it be when the Son of God will come back again. Jesus Christ is coming back again. He's the Prince of Peace. So it's going to be only those that are peacemakers. 
not those that cause war. Don't fight. Don't cause war. Don't plan for war, but plan for peace. Promote peace, never promote war. Encourage peace, never encourage war in your life, in your family, in your country, in wherever you come from. Always promote peace, never ever promote war. Because if you promote war, you will go to hell. Because there is no war in the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God will not tolerate anyone that is fighting, that is making war, causing war like devil. There will be no more devil in the kingdom of God. Devil is shut out forever from God's kingdom. So the kingdom of God is peace, is love, is joy. So if you can count yourself, if you can see yourself as a peacemaker, if you can see yourself as a joy giver, if you can see yourself as a righteous person, you are in. You are in the kingdom of God as far as long as you believe in the name of our Lord and of our Savior Jesus Christ who died for us. Our God is a good God. So we continue to read. The Bible says, Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So when you are persecuted for righteousness sake, you have the kingdom of heaven right in you for righteousness sake. Some people lose their job because of righteousness sake. Some people lose things because of righteousness sake. The Bible says when you are persecuted because of righteousness sake. Some people are get killed because of truth and righteousness sake. The Bible says yours, in your heart is the kingdom of God. You have the kingdom of God. When you believe in righteousness, when you are doing the right thing because of righteousness sake, then you have the kingdom of God in you. Because the kingdom of God is for the righteous people, brother. Our God is a very good God. And Jesus Christ loves us. And our God loves us so much. We must believe. We must believe. We, not, we must not be like devil that do not believe. And even though devil believes, it trembles. Jesus Christ loves us. Jesus Christ cares for us. Our God is a good God. God is faithful and God is just. There is none like unto him. He is great. He is wonderful. He is glorious. He is gracious. He is a resurrected king. He is a king of glory. Our God loves us with an everlasting love. So the Bible says, if you are persecuted because of righteousness, for just is the yours is the kingdom of heaven. You want to go to God, the kingdom of God? The kingdom of God is better than earth. The earth is corrupted. The earth is corrupted. So the kingdom of God is righteous. It's for the righteous people. God bless you, man. Thank you so much. Our God is a good God. Our God is faithful and just God. The Bible says, let him that suffer, never suffer like a criminal. If you want to suffer, if you are in trouble, don't be in trouble because you're a criminal. But be in trouble because you are a righteous person. Be in trouble because you are making peace. Be in trouble because you are resisting the devil. Because the Bible says resist the devil through righteousness, through peacemaking. Resist the devil and devil will flee. So when you are resisting the devil because of righteousness, then yours is the kingdom of God. It says when you are suffering, don't suffer as a liar. Don't suffer as a, someone that is boastful. Don't suffer as someone that commits adultery and fornication. Don't suffer as someone that fights. Don't suffer as somebody that drinks and gives to wine. But suffer as a righteous person. Suffer for the sake of righteousness. That is what is going to take you to the kingdom of God. So we are preaching about the kingdom of God today. Those that will go and those that will not go. Because that is why Jesus Christ came. Jesus Christ came and bring the kingdom of God to us. And Jesus Christ is teaching us how to get to the kingdom of God. Because many people today do not know how to go, to go to the kingdom of God. It's not by your righteousness. It's not by selfish righteousness. But it is by the righteousness that is based on the word of God. The righteousness that is based on God. The righteousness that is based on the spirit of God. Do you know about the spirit of God, brother? Do you love God? Jesus loves you so much, my friend. Our God is a good God. The word of God says that our righteousness should exceed the righteousness of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. 
And how do our righteousness exceed the righteousness of the Pharisees and the Sadducees? Our righteousness can only exceed the righteousness of the Pharisees and the Sadducees when we believe in the grace of God. When the grace of God is sufficient to us, then our righteousness exceeds that of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Because the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they believed in the law. In the law and law and law. They rejected the grace. But when we believe the grace of God and receive the grace of God in our life, then our righteousness have exceeded the righteousness of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Mom, Jesus, care for you. So our righteousness must exceed the righteousness of the Pharisees and the Sadducees because the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they rejected the grace of God. So you must receive the grace, the grace of God, the mercies of God. Jesus love you, my young man. God bless you. You are so good. Our God is a good God. Today is the day of salvation. So your righteousness must exceed. Without your righteousness exceeding, you are going nowhere. Your righteousness must exceed. Brother, your righteousness must exceed. The righteousness of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. So the word of God says, when you are suffering, don't suffer as a murderer, don't suffer as a liar, don't suffer as, a, 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 as an evil person, don't suffer as a fornicator, don't suffer as, as an adulterer, don't suffer as an idol worshiper, don't suffer as an atheist, because when you suffer as an atheist, you go to hell. You go to hell. Jesus Christ loves you, Jesus Christ died for you. Don't suffer as a fool, don't suffer as an unbeliever, but suffer for righteousness sake. Suffer as a righteous person. Suffer in righteousness. Our God is a good God. So today is a day that we should receive the righteousness of God. That is based on the grace of God. This righteousness we preach today is based on the grace of God. The grace of God is sufficient for us. And the righteousness we preach is based on that very grace of God. The grace of God is great and it is wonderful. So the righteousness we preach today is based on the grace. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ died for us. Jesus Christ died to set us free. So one more time, let us think about this. Let us read and see those that will go to the kingdom of God again. Let us summarize this message today. The Bible says, blessed are the poor in the spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven, Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will, sh for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The Bible says again in verse 11 of Matthew chapter 5. And the word of God says, Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And he said, Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. So when you are persecuted because of righteousness sake, when you are persecuted because of the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says rejoice and be glad. Because the prophets that are before you, even Jesus Christ himself was persecuted. So when you are persecuted for his righteousness sake, the Bible says rejoice and be glad. For theirs is the kingdom of God. God bless you, brother. Jesus Christ love us. So let your, let your persecution be because you are a child of God. Be persecuted because of the sake of the name of Christ. Be persecuted because of the sake of the name of Jesus Christ that is highly lifted up above all the earth. And I pray today that the Spirit of God and God will bless you today and will give you grace and grace sufficient to receive Him, to receive Him in your heart and to believe Him and to serve Him. Today is the day of salvation, sister. Repent today. Jesus loves you. Our God is a good God. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen.